you for taking the time uh, to talk to us today. And uh, the first question I really wanted to ask you is, what are the three most important takeaways you want the participants to remember from your session today? Yeah. I think most important is to, to remember that all management is risk management. Uh, if you if you would would see risk management with a little M, let's say, and then management with a large M is actually a, 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 a conglomerate of, of three uh, parallel or sometimes consecutive uh, consecutive uh, processes, which are leadership, risk management, and continuous improvement or excellence. So if you understand this and you can can fit all these processes at the same time, then you can reach excellence. And then uh, third, that basically uh, to become excellent, you have to look at two sides of risk, which is basically the performance side, which is the positive side of risk, and also safety, which is actually the negative side of risk. And so if you can maximize one, and you can minimize the other, then you have an optimum performance. Mm -hmm. yeah. And picking up on what you've just said, does it mean that um, for risk management to be effective, it has to be equally integrated at the leadership level, at the sort of the management processes level, into the decision, the day-to-day -day decision making, and uh, as well as at the continuous improvement. Risk management should be one, among other things, uh, helping drive yeah, yeah. continuous improvement. Absolutely. I think, of course, sometimes people think leadership is at a strategic level, uh, management is at an intermediate level, and then, of course, continuous improvement is at the executional level. That's true to a certain extent. But these processes work at all these levels, also in parallel. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to integrate risk management mm -hmm. at all of these levels, from the board of directors yeah. up to the guy sweeping the floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And can you share with us maybe an example of how risk management does make a big difference when it is, it's not a separate uh, standalone process for the purposes of sort of doing risks. It is integrated into the way a company operates, into the way people think about uncertainty and uh, perform their activities. Yes, absolutely. And, and it's all about becoming excellent. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, uh, most modern uh, and Western uh, air forces are a nice example of that. Mm -hmm. um, when I was a young pilot, uh, then well, everything was done, you know, like we have always done it. Mm -hmm. uh, as a result, uh, we had to go to the funeral uh, several times a year of comrades that, that died in an aircraft accident. Uh, over the years, uh, people became more aware about risk and how to manage those risks, taking things seriously, learning. It's also, risk management is also about learning. And uh, today, you see that now there are much less uh, aircraft accidents, not only because aircraft get better, which also is a result of risk management, of course, but because everything is focused on taking the right decision. Mm -hmm. It starts with that communication and consultation, getting all the experts together to give expert opinions, to get a, a, a very good picture, to establish the context correctly, mm -hmm. to, to identify the risks. Eh? So identify also the opportunities. Eh? If in, in, a, in a battle scenario, you, you, you look for the weaknesses of the, of, the, uh, of the opponent, but also how you can uh, get to a maximum use of your own uh, abilities. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, when you, you go for a maximum of positive risk, let's say, then you also have to take into account how can I do this safely? How can I remain safe when I do this? Mm -hmm. And it's this work, both sides, mm -hmm. that makes that today most modern uh, Western uh, air forces don't suffer that man many losses anymore in combat. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And just uh, picking up on that and sort of moving in a slightly different uh, direction, for the young people uh, or people that are just moving into the risk profession from other other fields, what advice would you give for uh, people just starting in the risk management uh, space? I think the best advice I can can give them is to to take up a holistic vision on on risk and risk management. So don't just go uh, to to be an expert in a tool uh, and to crunch numbers and be a very good statistician. Uh, it's much more, uh, and see how things in, uh, fit together. Uh, zoom out, mm -hmm. see how management fits with leadership, with uh, continuous improvement. See how you can 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 integrate 
uh, risk management at all levels and things like that. It's a whole a completely other story. Mm -hmm. Much more interesting, I suppose. And, and it does require risk manager to have additional competencies just beyond understanding the ISO 31000 the framework and the, some of the tools to quantify risks that we use. It does require um, understanding of how business operates, understanding of how maybe human brain works to make decisions. Absolutely. Uh, this is absolutely, because uh, uh, the, the misunderstanding uh, I often see is that people think that uh, risk is about uncertainty uh, and that's true for a certain extent to a certain extent but it's only true at the second place in the first place it's about objectives and only humans really have objectives so understanding how to align human objectives in an organization is crucial in, in as, as a first step in managing risk I think um, yeah, I, I think, I think this, this, is, this is something uh, that, that is absolutely uh, true. Um, and, and that's for risk, wrong risk manager to, to go in all those diverse uh, fields. For instance, uh, innovation mm -hmm. is also any, any tool that you can use today to manage risk uh, traditionally yeah. can be used for innovation. Mm -hmm. But the other way around as well, all interesting tools that go to, to, to free people's minds and think out of the box mm -hmm. can also be used for traditional risk management. Yes, that's so that's, that's basically zooming out mm -hmm. and, and, and see how things fit is, yeah. is what I, my, Thank my advice. Thank you for that. And to just wrap up on a lighter note, um, what's your favorite risk management book? Well, actually, I think my favorite book is the book I, I have finished just uh, last week mm -hmm. uh, and probably going to the publisher next week um, and that's the book uh, safety and performance mm -hmm. because safety and performance are two sides of the same coin and if you if you maximize performance and you maximize safety so by minimizing unsafety mm -hmm. you have uh, uh, an optimum performance okay. uh, so that's uh, going up uh, on sale later this year well uh, probably I don't know when exactly it will be, yeah. be printed and, and, and on the market. It will certainly be, be available next year. It's by Nova Booking. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a scientific uh, uh, work, so, so that will be found on the internet, uh, no, no problem. Excellent. Thank you very much, Peter, for your time. My Thank pleasure. You. Thank you.